y'all. Welcome back to my channel. So, <clears throat> I am currently in two bags. <laughs> I am currently in my Coach Sport Purple um, fanny pack or bum bag, whatever you want to call it. Super, super cute. And I am also in my Coach Town Tote in the chalk color or cream color. Um, so, I'm going to show you guys what's in both of these bags. I have done individual what's in my bags um on both of these bags but i'm going to show you guys you know a combo what's in my bag today because this is a bag that i've been in for a couple of days i think like maybe four days or so um but jazz had flag football games all day saturday oh my god it was so uncomfortable being outside that many hours y'all it was from 8 45 a.m to like 6 15 p.m they played four games two were back to back then we had like a little lunch break window in the middle um, and then they had another game starting, I think at two o'clock or something like that. Of course it ran over. And then after that, they had like an hour break while another team played and then it was their turn to play again. So y'all, it was rough. It was rough being outside that long. But anyway, I didn't want to take a big tote bag to the field. We were sitting in lawn chairs. Um, and so I just took my fanny pack so I could wear it across my chest. So I'm going to show you guys what I had in here. Um, in the back, you do have that zipper pocket. I did have my cell phone in there. And normally I would put it in here for the video so you guys can see that. I have the iPhone 12. I probably have the oldest, smallest phone of people on YouTube doing what's in my bags. But y'all know that phone is Layla Purple. So she is going nowhere until all the motherfucking wheels fall off. But anyway, I keep the phone in here. But she is literally like on 19%. So I had to put her on the charger. In this front pocket my little fake aunt flow is in town so i use this as my lady pouch and then i have my um chapstick and the lip gloss i was wearing tucked in there so on top i have this it's actually called memoir work from home i've never heard of this one or the company i don't know anything about it is that showing up clear no it's not um i don't know anything about it come on man there we go but this came in an Ipsy box quite a few months ago and so I chose to grab it and put it in this one because the smaller bottles I normally carry, it was kind of low and I was like, oh, I don't have time to refill it. So come on now, get, get clear again. Thank you. Um, I don't have time to refill it so I just grabbed this one to toss in here. It smells really good. I don't really think it's something I would buy. Um, but it smells really good. It has like a woodsy kind of scent to it. So I actually really like it. Um, as I said on the side here, I had lip gloss and lip balm. I did pick up a couple of those um, Christmas packaging lip balms. Super, super cute. So this one's blue, rolls up like normal. And then I had the Kylie Jenner lip gloss in here in the damn Gina that my sister put me on. I'm actually starting to love this one more than the um, Juvia's Place So Glazed. I don't know. I, I like both, but... I'm on this one right now. Y'all know we go through phases. And for Christmas, Mally actually got me um, two more of these. So I was super excited about that because one of mine was getting low. Tucked in here, I did have one maxi pad. Fake Aunt Flo has been doing some weird stuff lately. So I took one just in case. Um, I did have two panty liners in here, but I used both of those with us being there all day. And then I had um, a couple of wipes in here and I have two left. I also had my um, inspired, not real. <laughs> Chanel compact mirror that I picked up off of Macari. Um, this one I used to, you know, apply my lip gloss when I was reapplying. So those are the things that was in that front pocket. I guess you can see it kind of good. Filming in the cave today on my couch. And the big part I had, oh man, come on now. It's quite dark. That sucks. A little more lighting if I face it towards my bedroom. My ring light is completely put up and underneath my purple couch. So may, I don't know, may have to pull her back out and play with her or film this during the day. But um, it's nighttime. Anyway, so these are the essentials, like literally not going to leave the house without them. Um, I do have my little lace pouch, which y'all know is my quick grab and go catch all. So I never empty the things out of here. I just replace them as needed. So I have the little uh, Walmart brand breath strips. I have some artificial tears, which I use as re-wetting drops for my contacts. Is that clear? There it is. Oh, and my nails, in case anyone was wondering. This is gel polish. That don't look clear either. I'm on the opposite side of the viewfinder, y'all. Mine flips out to the side. It's not on top, so sometimes it's hard for me to check in and see. But these are my natural nails. I feel like that is just not clear. 
these are my natural nails with gel polish on them every finger is different it's Layla purple as a base that I have white silver and another glittery purple used as um, the polish for the design so it's really cute love how this came out I am back in my natural nail phase I'm out of my press on nail phase I feel like I go through so many phases from colors I like in my bags the colors I like to wear to what nails I like to wear it's just crazy um one little piece of candy it's a mamba I put my near nyx uh near Jesus Layla <laughs> put my clear nyx butter gloss lip gloss in here it, the wand is a little tinted because i was applying this on top of some of the other lip glosses but i've decided to just put this in here so if i'm not wearing any lip gloss at all can you come on with the blurriness really um if i'm not wearing any lip gloss at all and i have to run out the door at least i have something i could put on if i'm in the mood to be shining i have one um q-tip the pink q-tip from sheen that comes individually wrapped then i have my iWalk charger y'all know i love this power bank from amazon it is linked in my storefront if you're new here this is the little tiny bottle of um, bathroom spray that i keep in here and i also had started keeping one liner in here just in case i really just run out and don't even grab my lady pouch if i'm going to grab a small bag but i did use it so i do need to put one back in here and then i just have this tiny little fingernail file that came in a little um uh press on nail kit super cute the nails did not end up working out i never got to wear them when i went to go ahead and size them on my finger they were too small like left to right my nail beds are there i wouldn't say they're wide but i don't have small hands like i'm pushing five nine my wedding finger is a size eight like i got some real hands so they didn't work out but i was okay with that i knew kind of knew that that could be a possibility when i bought it and i was okay with that because um i should have brought a sticky note over here so i could put add a liner in here but anyway i was okay with that because i really wanted that nail file i knew that i was doing my quick lace pouch grab and go and i really wanted that particular nail file to go in there so next in here tucked over in this corner is just my keys so this is my six key holder from louis vuitton you guys know i've been working with this for a long time this is my bff she does it i mean she still smells like leather but it's very faint i've been wondering that lately as i've been watching other people's videos like where they just get this or where they um get an emprunt you know piece like a wallet or um a purse i've been wondering like does my key holder still smell like leather i need to smell it next time i think about it so anyway i just thought about it and smelled it so i do have my sb nickname hot stamped in the corner and i just have the keys to my house um the big house where my mom and sister live now um the gate key my ups box key I think that's everything yeah and then tucked in the back you guys know i like to keep my driver's license my carry license and an emergency card in there just in case and then i have my wallet in here the interior accessories inside the coach town tote are this blue you can see it goes look very nicely with the charm and i'll show you guys again um but this is my coach win wallet from the retail boutique i picked up quite a few things in this faded blue color um earlier last year kind of like late spring ish time frame it does have um silver um hardware this is a zipper pocket for your change but i don't have change in here this time i've been um kind of reusing not reusing but in a phase where i want to use the actual uh, round coin purses or even the heart shaped coin purses that we pick up from you know the releases so all of my coins are in there i didn't have cash so i didn't need any coins and then let me make sure everybody's tucked Yep. So on the front, you have your one major card slot. So I put my most used card there. Then on the interior, I have my um, other cards and I just put them in here single. And then I have one behind each pocket. And then I did not have any cash, but I did go ahead and just do two stacks of the rest of my cards. So every last one of my card. Oh, and tucked in the little hidden pocket back here. If you're not familiar with that, I always put my health insurance cards in there. Um, so I actually have all of my cards in here and I did not need like an extra pouch or card holder or anything for um, my cards. So then in there, I did take my tissue pouch and I did not think this through y'all. Forget how freaking runny your nose gets when you're outside in the cold that long. So I should have brought some kind of backup packs of tissues in my coat pockets, but I had my gorgeous little novel crown handmade um, tissue pouch and I've been thinking about cleaning it, you guys. I kind of see like a little bit of, I guess you could say like a brownish residue just from going in and out of so many bags for the last couple months i love this and this little charm um but if you're new here tissues are in the front and then in the inner zipper i usually keep 
um, a candy or two, a mint or two, and then several um, cough drops, which I did have to use some. So I need to add some more to that as well. I just kind of been having like this tickle in my throat, y'all. Like not really coughing, but like a tickle in my throat. I have my In The Stars um, hand cream from Bath & Body Works. Y'all know I love the tiny lotion bottles. And then I have my AirPods, which has the cute bag on the front. And I just have one of those little straps from Sheen on there. Um, I love these AirPod, this AirPod case. I really do. This is the third generation it's not the pros it's just the third generation um i don't think the tip of the pros will fit in my ear well but anyway um i know we're in the fall winter season so we usually start doing like darker colors but y'all know layla purple is my favorite color so i've been kind of feeling changing this to something with some purple in it um so i did order a new case off amazon also ordered a new phone case so i will show you guys that in the next um what's in my bag and then there is a like a slip pocket in the back of the bag and tucked in there I just put a um, spray bottle <laughs> from Sheen it's the clear one it comes in like clear pink I really hope I find a Layla purple one one day um, but in here I just have some Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer this um, piece in the middle comes out and then you literally can pour the liquid in there so of course it's getting a little bit low I'll add some more but I love having something super super thin for when I'm going to carry small bags and that is it y'all she is completely empty. I know we got a bit of a lighting issue here. The interior is this gray color, which I love. I don't mind the Bordeaux color, but I hate when it's in every freaking thing. So I love that they did something different in here. Did that gray. It makes it so much easier to see all of your items. So let me tell y'all a story. Normally right here is a little hang tag. Tell me why when me and Mally went to the bathroom and came back, Ken was like is this yours and I'm like oh my god and I looked down the bag and it's not on there at some point it came off my bag and landed in the grass right by my seat where we were sitting on the sidelines so so glad Helby found it I am going to put it back on but I have it on the desk um and I'm going to actually put some e6000 on there where it goes into the little I don't know what the part is called but anyway I'm going to make sure that bad boy does not come off again so these are all the goodies that were in there that were previously in here except for this I think I have a small spray bottle that was inside of the um what do you call it lady pouch so I'm gonna bring this closer so this beautiful charm is from charmed by Carmen it's got this really cute snowman on the side lots of pretty blue blue <laughs> lots of pretty blue beads and as you can see there are some in there that have this tiffany blue color that star right there is one and then if you kind of flip it around you can see some more of the other smaller beads towards the middle are also this tiffany blue so with this charm you have multiple options if you want your charm to actually you know like match um turn around to match your SLGs on the inside. Y'all know I kind of like matching my charms or my decor on the bag with the SLGs on the inside. And then I also like to match my clothes. So usually what I do is either change the charm to match my clothes that day, but the interior is still the same, or the next couple of days or a week or so while I'm carrying this bag, I will try to match my outfits around this bag. Um, I'm not super, super matchy, matchy, but I really don't like when the charm is like red and my outfit is like Layla purple and blue. Like that's a, that's a hell no for me. I can't. So I will change the charm on the outside and just leave the SLGs. So when wallet matches that, it does have the gold coach hang tag on the other side. And then this time I really didn't want to take away from this charm because it's so pretty. Y'all look at that snowflake on the bottom. It's gorgeous. Carmen, thank you so much for making this for me. And Shonda, thank you, girl. Thank you so much for this charm for um, my Christmas gift. I absolutely love it. I told you I could not wait to throw it on the bag ASAP. So I do have a hand sanitizer, but I put it on the back this time. Y'all, I really wanted to use something different, give this reindeer a break, but I just couldn't. It's just, look at that bow. Look, look at that shake. Look at that shake. I just couldn't. She is so stinking cute. I'm so glad I picked her up when I saw her. Um, so I put the hand sanitizer on the back just so that I do still have one on the exterior of the bag. And I think with my next setup, I might do the spray um, to do something different. So we'll see. I'm still deciding what bag I want to move into. But I know what color SLGs I plan on doing. Crazy. Um, so inside, it's a little messy. Things are... Ah! Here, let me take this off. Things are a little um, kind of mumbo jumbo because as y'all know, tote bags are big. Um, they have a lot of space in them so you can put a lot of things. I don't think I fully pack my totes because, you know, 
it would get real heavy but I do put all of my essentials in there everything I could fit in there I fit in there and then when I go to work I usually also put my planner in here but lately I've been carrying this other cute little bag um, as a planner bag so things are not quite the way they were when I first moved in because half the things are essentially in that um, trying to get the color um, essentially in that bum bag I just showed you guys but that's the kind of quick overview in here so I'm just going to show you guys everything that's in here and let me see if I can use the bum bag as a prop let's see Ugh. maybe not okay let me empty this back pocket so it can get out of the way um, tucked on the side as usual I do have my taser then I have my clipper, which is the um, bag hanger. Oh my God, y'all, this thing is a beast. It literally holds these totes. It can hold up to 33 pounds. Mine is in the rose gold color, and it is from Amazon and linked in my storefront. You can clip it on anything you need to. Then I have my usual Villa Beautiful pen. This is the one that's in that kind of pale pink, but it really looks white to me. Um, pen, so I like putting it in my bags because then I don't have to switch it with every setup. These cuties have been on Miss Toya's channel for quite some time, you guys, a couple of weeks. She also has the one that's like really blinged out and one day I'm going to find it. Um, but I did find these at Walmart and go ahead and grab one in each color. Y'all, I struggled so much trying to figure out how to change this thing out. But I was successful finally after DMing her on Instagram and talking about it. Um, oops. I gotta figure out how to know which way is the top so I don't open it upside down. But when you open it, it looks like so. It does come with a lipstick. The day that I got it, I did go ahead and swatch and put every single one of them on my face. One of them was completely like, I don't know y'all, was like this weird pink color and it was really transparent and it, it was like barely putting anything on my lips. And then all the other colors were just horrible. I looked absolutely horrible. So you roll it up like this, just like you do the lip balm. However, I have taken out the lipstick that came in here and just broke the lip balm off of something else, another chapstick holder or chapstick balm, whatever you want to call it, and put it in here. So basically, I have lip balm in here. I do see that there is some residue. This is the first one I did. Um, I do see that there is some residue around the lip balm. It's not going to bother me because it's not going to be enough to like taint my lips. But what I am going to do when I change the next one is completely clean out the inside of that little um, barrel. Once I tear the lipstick off, this way the lip balm won't have all of that on it. But it rolls down just like normal. Now, I will say there's not anything fully holding it. So if you open it upside down, it will fall out. So that is something you have to be mindful of. Um, but I love this cutie. It's so cute. I don't think I'll be able to put it in smaller bags because it is pretty bulky. Like a lot bulkier than a chapstick itself. Like it's it's a lot fatter, I guess. So it takes up more space in the bag. But if you have a nice big size bag or a tote, this will definitely work. Let me see here. Usually, yeah, usually I lay my chapsticks down like that. Um, What else? I have... oh. I hate that you guys can't see in there really clear. It's this um, kind of, I don't even know what shade of blue you would call this, but the interior of this bag is blue and it is made of leather except for the pouch. The pouch itself is, um, what is that little lint? Traditional uh, fabric. So I don't have, you know, well actually, I think because I wanted to do the faded blue accessories, I chose to use this kind of what I call like a rose gold flashlight from the Dollar Tree. I do have a blue one, um, but it wasn't faded blue and I was being extra picky <laughs> because I had not used the faded blue accessories in a while, so I was being a little picky. This is the tag on the bag, if anyone was wondering. This is the leather town tote from the Coach Outlet. The color is chalk. I like to call it cream or off-white, winter white. But yeah, that's it. So now that back pocket is empty, so this should be a little bit easier. So in the front, that's trying to just fall out like, see me, see me, see me. It's this cute little pebble leather pouch. This is also from Coach Retail. It's got that beautiful silver C on the front and then the Coach hang tag on the side. In here, I use this as my lady pouch. So I have all of my lady products in here. It's got the two credit card slots on one side. And then I just have my usual. So I have a pack of tissue. I have my larger sheen pouch with my favorite wipe wipes, my favorite liners in it. I have this little sheen pouch. And y'all, I got some new floss sticks. I picked these up at Burlington. I actually found them. Mommy bought a box. We were together. They only had three. Mommy bought a box. I bought a box. And then I bought the other box um, and gifted it to someone for Christmas. So super cute. I got my pink Q-tips at the bottom. And then my new Layla Purple Flossers. I've got two lady wipes. 
I have the purple soap sheets. I got these from Miss T in Love Mail. I got two expandable, let me try to block my shirt, two expandable washcloths. I think the word arrow on my shirt is kind of the problem. And then I have this tiny little spray bottle from Sheen that I also need to refill um, that I like to keep in here for bathroom spray. So I use this as the lady pouch this go round. I love using the Coach Outlet corner zip wristlet for the lady pouch, but I did not have one in faded blue and I really wanted to use my faded blue accessories. Then in here, I talked about this, at least I hope I did. Jesus, I know you guys, I hadn't been filming for a while. Life was life and I was seriously behind on doing all of our Christmas things for the house and for the family. Um, and then Jazz, you know, these all-star games she's been selected to play in, it's been a lot going on. So proud of her. But anyway, um, I think I talked about this, but I'll just talk briefly. I picked up the Pocket Rings um, agenda from Filofax from Amazon. When it came, I loved it. So I immediately ordered the personal. And when I ordered the personal, I realized there's something called a mini. Started watching a bunch of YouTube videos on the mini size and decided this would fit in my purse so much easier than a pocket. So I moved, I ordered this and then moved into it. So I have set her up. Um, and I actually filmed her Christmas setup, so I'm not sure how I'm going to load them. I think I'm going to load that one first before this one. So you guys should have seen that one by now, by the time you watch this one. But anywho, this is what the inside looks like. Um, this is just my cover page. I love what that says. This is just a journaling card from Cloth and Paper. And I just added these florals and this doll to it that I got from Anika's Creative Closet. I don't have any... Um, like multiple dividers in here I just created this one on the bottom that says rise and slay and then on the top I have this Layla purple bow that marks the exact spot we're on for the day and the week and then on the side I just have this really cute Layla purple pin gem pin with that gem on top love it and of course I love how it goes with my nails like yes please so this is why are you acting up showing out for company <laughs> so this is my little grab and go in all my purses except crossbodies and funny packs it's not gonna work but other than that any other bag i carry medium or large this definitely fits with no problem and takes up so much less space than a pocket size i am using this um wristlet that comes inside of the day tote i do have the coach um day tote with the faded blue so it has the strap if you want to use it as a wristlet it's not uh, removable but i'm going to leave it i just i really like the color um contrast with the coach signature so love that it does have the coach creed on the front and in here i am using this as a catch-all so this has all the catch-all stuff in it minus like um lip gloss stuff so i have a layla purple hairbrush comb combo that i did get in love mail this cutie is on amazon i love that i have my little purple bottle from sheen i put face moisturizer in i've got some jergens lotion for the family i have my little travel white out i have uh -oh this little holo pouch which holds an extra pair of contacts should I need them this is a clear glitter pouch from Sheen that holds um, a bunch of first aid things I call it my little first aid pouch then I have the little purple nail file holder and a purple nail file from um, Dollar Tree then I have this little perfume is Kinsey something or another it came in an Ipsy box let's see does it say the name it says buttercup babe I have a hair tie or ponytail holder. I have a cloud in Layla Purple. I have an on the go mascara. Should I decide to put some on? This can oh Jesus. <laughs> Tone stuff at myself. That came in an empty package. Then I do have some cuticle oil from Shop Miss A. I have a purple nail file and then some purple tweezers. And both of these are Layla Purple. And I have two ponytail holders, so here's the other one. And then I have this cute little um, pill case from Sheen. It's just a solid gold. I love it. It does not open in my bag, thank God. And in here, I just have a couple pain pills. So have those for on the go. And then this pouch is empty, guys. So this is all the catch-all things minus uh -oh, lip gloss and stuff. If I can have a pouch for lip gloss and then a pouch for catch-all, I absolutely will separate those things. But if I can't, then I will put everything in the catch-all. Like if the purse is smaller or I just don't really have enough space. This cutie Michelle picked up for me from Walmart. She was like, girl, they in stock. You want it? Hell yeah, because mine ain't got it. 
So this was that little trio pouch set that comes with three different sizes and this is the smaller one. I just have a cute little um, heart charm on here from Sheen. And this is what I'm using as my little lip gloss pouch. So in here was my, um, if you know, you know Chanel compact mirror. I just had it tucked in the back. So I'm just gonna show you guys it does fit and it does zip with no problem. Um, and then in here, I got a new Juvia's Place Ruby Rose, which is a really pretty kind of sheer-ish, but red-ish <laughs> lip gloss. It looks so good on my lips. I love it. Then this is a Fenty Beauty um, lip gloss. This one is in Fussy. Then I have my favorite lip gloss, the NYX Butter Gloss Cheesecake. I um, have that. And then this is one of those standard um, lip liner pencils that you actually have to sharpen. I purchased it from Ulta to purposely cut half of it off so i cut the half that's normally in the cap and then i just sharpened it and then put it in this cap i am sick and tired of let me use this one since it's not so bright i'm sick and tired of lip liners being so much larger let me get back I'm trying to show you guys these two together i'm sick and tired of lip liners being so much larger Let's see if i can get these to balance so much larger than lip glosses like to be honest with y'all there are a lot of times that i want to carry my lip glosses in a separate pouch and i want to go as compact as possible possible and that damn lip liner is the problem like it's like forever and a day long and so i have to accommodate that in order to fit all the things in there and i decided you know what i'm about to diy the situation to make it how i want it so i bought one of the um, lip, I normally like the roll up lip liners. I don't really care for these cause I'm like, I don't feel like having to sharpen it, but you know what? For my purse, that's what we about to do. So this color is by NYX and let me see if the colors on this end, it's called plum. So this one is by NYX. The color is plum. If I can get it to show. There you go. Um, and like I said, I just literally cut it in half. The other half is on my desk and I use it when I'm at home. And then I have this one for on the go. So that is my little lip pouch. I love having these things separate and being able to just pull this out and touch up my lips after eating or drinking or whatever when I'm out the house. I know it's not the greatest seeing in here, you guys. I'm sorry. I have my Coach Retail um, Shades pouch that does have the word Coach on the back. I did pick this one up from Macari. And if you're new here, I did cut the strap off. I can't stand those straps. I realize they allow you to clip it to your bag so your sunglasses are like easily reachable. Mm -mm, I don't need all that. The case is big enough. I can find it. These are my favorite shades. When I break these, I swear to God, I'm going to cry. <laughs> but I got these from TJ Maxx quite a few years back. And then I just have one of those cleansing um cloths that comes with like sunglasses or eyeglasses or whatever and that's all that is in here i love 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 that tea rose on the front so i have that in there and then i just have a couple of loose pieces that i didn't really want to put in the pouch i have the pina colada icebreakers omg if you ain't tried them sis try them then I have my digital business card. So it does have Layla, just one SV on it. And has my IG and YouTube QR code. And it's on the back as well. And then on here, these noisemakers <laughs> is a cute little purple key. Looks like a house key, but it's actually a knife. So it's an extra safety tool. And then I have my um, best friend charm and my tripod sister charm. So I love this. And last two things. And she is completely, if you could freaking see in there, empty. It's like no way for me to hold it to get some good light without a ring light, y'all. I'm sorry. I hate how bright that ring light be making stuff. So I packed it up, put it under my couch. I have the, I think it's called Saddle um, Brown um, Coach Outlet <laughs> Round Coin Purse. Again, I'm in my phase where I want my coins to be in a round coin purse and not in the wallet. I did leave all the hardware on there. It does have the cute little coach hang tag, which I think is so stinking cute block my shirt so cute so in here is just what i said queens a couple in there i had some cash a little while back so i broke it and i got coins then this little cutie is one of those kiss lock pouches this is my favorite little pouch to use for my candy now so i have quite a few colors and i try to match it when i can and this actually matched pretty nicely so i did use it this time so in here as stated is my candy so I have a couple of Laffy Taffies, a butterscotch, some Mamba Chews, and all of that in there. So love, love using that. So that is everything, ladies and gentlemen. This is my beautiful Coach Town Toe. 
Not sure what I'm going to move into next. I don't know. I'm pondering maybe my Neverfull and Azure. Um, I'm also pondering possibly my Graceful um, to not do a tote because I've kind of done, you know, a couple of totes. I've been like in my tote phase the last couple of weeks or honestly like a month and a half. So oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know how much I said and y'all missed it. I didn't pay attention. I guess I got to 29 minutes. Damn, I didn't feel like I was talking that long. Anyway, um coach town tote in the chalk color i know what color accessories i'm carrying next i just gotta decide on the bag i'm kind of choosing between my neverfull mm in the azure color and then i'm also kind of um thinking about maybe doing the monogram and then i'm also thinking about maybe doing my graceful mm in monogram so i don't know y'all i gotta figure it out i need to get my life together so that is the plan for me to do tonight before I shower and go to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate and love each and every one of you. If you are new, hello and welcome. My name is Layla. I'm addicted to bags and planners. And if you are too, you should go on and just subscribe. But thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'm sorry I have been MIA for quite a few weeks. But I am back. I have my filming mojo back and I've got some time to do it. So we gonna get them, get them rolling, get them rolling. So... <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.